The 25th Lesson Mother's Birthday Continued When everybody went away and Jimmy was left alone, he felt lonely and did not know what to do. He looked at one or two of the pictures in his new book, but they seemed uninteresting to him. He tried to play hide-and-seek and even got behind the wardrobe but then he remembered that there was nobody to search for him. So he scrambled out of the dark, dusty corner and again sat down on a chair. Jimmy looked about the room. It was empty. Polly had run to school. Father had gone to some repair shop. Mammy was in the kitchen. The embroidered cushion was proudly lying in the middle of the sofa. Jimmy's parrot was hanging on the wall, pinned beside the new looking glass. The wonderful pair of stockings was lying on the table. Jimmy could not take his eyes off the transparent paper bag. He forgot all about the pudding and fresh sausages in the refrigerator and the guests that would come in the evening. He was thinking about the fairy stockings that lay hidden in the crisp paper bag. What if I just peep at them, the carrot thought. He got up from his seat, pulled his chair up to the table, got on it and carefully drew the stockings out of the paper bag. While his fingers were pulling the stocking, his elbow was pushing Polly's inkstand. Bang! And the inkstand was on the floor. Jimmy almost fell off his chair. He jumped down and quickly picked it up. Fortunately, the inkstand was not broken, though all the ink had spilled on the floor. Jimmy heard his mother running. He quickly knelt near the ink spot, trying to hide it from her. What's up, darling? his mother cried, opening the door and entering. Nothing, Ma, I am playing. Oh, all right then, honey. I thought I heard something fall. Go on playing, and I'll run to the baker's to buy some bread. I'll be back in ten minutes. Don't go out. Don't open the door. Don't let anyone in. I've got my key with me. I'll open the door myself. OK, Ma, the carrot said, still kneeling on the floor. I won't open the door. <laughs>